So one of the things that are pretty much the reason why we like to use, uh, say, Python is it has this standard library. And just like your traditional library, it allows you to pretty much go to a, a specific section. And in that section, I go and get a book. And in that book, I go and get a page. And I can start to narrow things down to just small little pieces that I, I want. Because, again, you know, why reinvent the wheel? In fact, you know, if we think about that, you know, why do we reinvent the wheel for a lot of things? Uh, math, for example. Uh, yes, programming is applied mathematics, uh, but I don't want to have to do all that math all over again. So how do I do that? Well, what I can do is I can implement the math library. Now, to do that, I have to come in, and one of the first things I have to do is I have to, in this case, import math. What that does is it basically goes into the library of Python and it grabs hold of the math library and now I have access to all of these other things utilizing the dot notation. The same thing I used uh, with format, dot format, math dot pi. Look at that. I don't even have to type it out anymore. It already exists inside of Python for me. I just have to import math. Well, the same kind of thing can come into play. Suddenly, if we kind of remember uh, some of our geometry for a second, if we remember geometry, here's a little circle. If I'm right here, that's kind of classified as a zero, but right about here, that's known as pi squared. Well, if I want to convert that into degrees, if we kind of look at kind of my poorly made circle, that's about 90 degrees, right? Well, I want to see that. I want to actually take sort of that equation. So I can go math dot degrees, and it's going to say, oh, all right, I'm expecting uh, something from you. Uh, and I'm going to type in math dot pi divided by 2. And you can see that that's going to then, when I hit enter, give me 90 degrees. And as you can probably guess, if I were to follow sort of the same structure. I can come in here. That's pi. So if I were to get rid of that dividing by 2, instead of 90 degrees, I've gone from 0 degrees to 180 degrees, or I guess that way since I'm on the camera. But you see I have a few of these. One of the really nice ones that we have is this idea of math.sqrt, because as you can guess, that allows me to do something like the square root of 25, or, now I don't have to play the guessing game, the square root of 24.